Is it my turn? Okay. My turn. Make it short. Okay. Make it short. Right. Right. I'm a, I'm I'm a blogger here in in this city. Just have some fun. Bottom line. What's the bottom line here? Uh, the bottom line is that um, we want to be respected and we want the university to respect the work that we do. Are you religious? Religious? Uh, no, I have to say I'm not. I'm when you have a strike in the middle of January <laughs> yeah. and it's warm. Uh, oh, well, okay, maybe someone else is religious and they're making up for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the bottom line, is it money or is it benefit? Bottom line. Uh, well, to say it's money makes it sound like we want money in our pockets. What we want is more money for people coming in, particularly, so we don't have such trouble hiring people. It's it's not always easy to fill holes when we're getting people coming into, we have vacancies in, depart in departments. I mean, why would anyone come here if they could go to, you know, Dal or Mun and have 15% uh, more starting salary and get is, a is the cost of living much higher there than here? No, it's not true. You know, people keep saying that. Houses are cheaper here and uh, rents are cheaper here. That's true. But heating costs more. Taxes cost more. I used to live in Toronto and the taxes are paying here are way worse. You know, food costs more, uh, travel costs more. The only thing that doesn't cost more is, is houses and rent. And um, the, at the end of the day, uh, my colleagues across the country are going to have a way bigger nest egg in their houses than I'm going to have. You know, so, so I mean, it, it's not always a good thing that that's slow, right? How many professors is there? Uh, at uh, UNB, across both campuses, there's about 570, not all professors, there's about 570 people in our in our um, bargaining unit. So that's so, librarians, librarian, uh, instructors. professors, instructors. Yeah, well, it's, yeah, instructors, professors, librarians, um, archivists who are sort of a uh, subset of librarians. Uh, there's another group called nurse clinicians. Uh, they don't teach in the classroom, but they teach the nurses in the hospital and, and you know, out, in, out in the workplace. You're a professor in English? Yeah. You're smart. <laughs> so can you predict what's going to happen here? No, and uh, I don't know if that has anything to do with being smart. Um, I predict that, that our members are going to come out of this stronger and more focused, whatever happens. Um, this, this has potential to really do damage to this university and our reputation nationally. Uh, and I think that the uh, Board of Governors and our President have to think long and hard about how uh, are they willing to continue playing chicken with us or are they willing to, to sit down in a collegial manner and, and work out a way that we can all build this institution so that it's strong. How much the President makes a year? 375? Uh, it's the last I heard and he's been having like um, or 14% uh, raises every year, uh, apparently. Over $300,000 he makes. It's between three seventy-five dollars and four hundred. dollars And he year. pays free rent? He's got he, a, doesn't no, he doesn't pay rent. he doesn't pay rent. He lives in a house right by down by uh, Lincoln Street there. Yeah. Well, Waterloo, Waterloo. Maybe he's, the one, maybe he's the one that cut the trees to have the view of the, of the river. I, Never mind. I, I don't don't answer know. that. Don't answer I, that. I don't know. Uh, now, would you be offended if I asked you how much you make a year? How much I made? I, I just hit 100000 recently. 100000 So, uh, how, Professor, is that the average wage is 100000 Um. Well, I got my job here when I was 40. Uh, that's a little late, maybe, but you won't find many people who weren't in their 30s at least in summer. And my partner was also, he was also in his 40s. That's not unusual. Um, it's You're in school a very long time. And, um, it takes a long time to earn the benefits and earn. Uh, well, I mean, you, to do, to be a, a, an academic, you're you know you got to you do three degrees usually, and um, most people don't get hired right off the bat. Um, my partner spent uh, years and years doing part-time teaching, and that's very very common. Uh, so in, when you actually start earning a, a regular paycheck, it's it's fairly late in life. You know, I mean, if I had decided to uh, be a high school teacher um, when I was in my undergrad, I would have hit the ground, uh, you know, in my 20s. And uh, the, if you look at lifetime earnings, there was a really great article in a, a journal called The Chronicle of Higher Education. This guy who's a historian in uh, Texas, in a really, really good university in Texas, uh, just 
decided he'd work out um, what he would have made if he'd uh, quit high school and gone and become a fry cook at McDonald's versus what he was making now as a professor. And uh, he worked out that if he'd gone to work at McDonald's and he'd done really well and stayed there and kind of moved up the ladder, become a manager, etc., etc., if he'd like, made his career there, he figured out that depending on different factors, he'd sort of about break even with what he ended up doing as a professor, staying in school for years, then working yeah. for really low wages, and then finally, you know, in your 40s, you're getting a nice paycheck, but if you're looking at your whole lifetime earnings, it's very backloaded. I gotta ask you a question. I always wanted to know this. Okay, how many students is there uh, in oh, you and me? Oh, I'm not good at this. Um, 6,000? 7,000? I'm gonna be totally guessing if I say this. I really am not a numbers person. Um, I'd say it's a couple of thousand on my campus. I'm at the St. John campus. Uh, yeah, I'd be well, guessing. I, I, yeah. You could find that out uh, no, well, almost anyone else. Sorry, sorry, but what I'm asking is, where, uh, <coughs> where is the money coming from? Like, the, money. you got to pay the president of the UNB, you got to pay you, you got to pay the professors. I'm, no, I'm sure the institution of the, uh, the what do you say it for me? What they pay to go to, to go to university can't cover the wages. Where, where, where the money is, is coming from? Is, um, I never asked that. It's, sort of, I, it's not really half and half, but it's a lot of it comes from uh, the provincial government. A lot of it comes from tuition, and then there's fundraising. They're That's the word. Tuition. Yeah, and then they're always doing fundraising campaigns. So, Are they? so there's yeah, people donate yeah. money, and usually with strings attached, you usually want something with your name on it. Oh, of course, a donation. Okay, so that's how it goes. And um, should the government get involved and say, but you are, the government don't have to get involved because when it's going to start getting cold, you guys are going to get your butts uh, in there, right? Well, we wear warmer clothes. We're, our our anger will keep you. us warm. Our righteous anger. <laughs> Listen, thank you very much. Thank you. I've been enjoying your, your videos. I've been watching them. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can read my uh, bad English. I write like I talk. Uh, uh, backward. Oh, I, no, you did some amazing series of photos for... Uh, I'll shut this off. Okay, back in